Here's Young Chow on the Lee River, zooming down to the area where West Street is. And here's the school that I taught at, the Oral English College. About 40 students, they had three different buildings and dormitories. And in fact, I lived in the dormitory, this is my room. And West Street, probably about half a mile, three quarters of a mile away, I'd walk down every morning and have coffee. I could get American breakfast there, scrambled eggs and toast. And of course it was full of tourists. Most of the tourists were Chinese. This is a restaurant street, which in the morning is very, very dead, but in the evening is just bustling with all sorts of activities. There were many beautiful places, great bridges and streams. This is one of my breakfast places, Cafe Manosa. I could have had breakfast at McDonald's, but I didn't. But I must admit, I did go there for soft ice cream every now and then. And here's another breakfast place that I like, Cafe Riley, built like a cave. It was really cool. Right next to where I sat, there were some birds that would be chirping. Upstairs, you could see the really imaginative design that and across the street there was a vendor. I watch her set up every morning. This is a statue of one of the many forgotten leaders during the Mao period. And here's a monument also in the Mao period. Most people don't even know what it's for. There was a health center that I was curious about, but it was always closed with some big dogs barking at the gate. I ran across this guy with an eagle and he wanted to have my picture taken with him for a small fee, so I did. Looking back across the river at the, at the Young Chow boat dock, and here we have the Karman man wanting me to take his picture. You can see that the river really got very high, particularly in 2008, and it was going up and down while I was there too. Here you can see the islands across the way, but those islands almost disappeared when it rained during my stay. These bamboo boats take tourists up and down the river. I didn't do any bamboo boats there, but some friends and I went up to Xingping and did some bamboo boats upstream from Yangchao. The way they propel themselves is like a Briggs and Stratton engine with a propeller attached to the power uh, output and a long stick. The stream is pretty brisk. I wouldn't want to try and swim across it. And of course, there's always people trying to hawk the tourists and coming out on, the, on these boats. This was a fairly quiet day. It was a weekday, but on the weekends, it really is just full of people. Right next to the boat landing is the Chinese uh, temple area, Buddhist temple area, and probably was the prettiest place in Yangchow. I spent time there totally enjoying it and, and getting in the atmosphere of the place. There was a park, big park, that I'd walk through almost every day. On the way, I passed this building, which was just getting started when I arrived. And this is the progress they made in the six, five weeks that I was there. My friend Ryan and I took a bicycle ride to a small town that was about two hours from Yangchao. 
Ryan had been learning country road. And so as we were bicycling along on this gorgeous area, we were singing at the top of our lungs, country road, take me home to that place I belong. Just a beautiful, beautiful ride. The town was, as I say, quite old and many of the buildings were deserted. and a local who gave us a smile. He has arms, he just has them behind him. And in the storage shed, there's a picture of German Mao. We took a bike ride on the Yulong River. They have smaller rafts that are, are powered by men with a stick and go down the river on a raft and then they put them all on trucks and bring them up and start the process all over again. This was the river to go swimming in, by the way. It was quite pleasant. At the end of the ride, people had an opportunity to do all sorts of touristy things, including take a look at this camel. I used the bicycle a lot. It was really fun. Ryan and I took bike rides and the cellophon and and Ben and I took bike rides, and all just beautiful country. Here Ryan organized a bike ride the first weekend I was there. There was about four or five of us, I think. And that's the first time I came up to this area where the, the rafts are on the, on the Leland River. photographer shooting this gorgeous woman with a fantastic dress. This is lunch and there was always five different things we could choose from and of course there was always rice. Makes me hungry just to look at it. Those peppers were wonderful. They were stuffed with pork I think. And on every Wednesday we had English Corner which was where we played English language word games and they were always fun and Oh, we would have music. Here, Ethan is playing. He was quite a good guitarist. Here, Ryan is having to hold a book on his head because he missed the question. And I'd usually end the time there and play uh, some songs. They particularly liked Country Road and Star Flyer. I sang Rocky Raccoon and some of my other songs. There were gardens all over Yangchow and very beautiful. And here some locals are uh, playing music in the park. We had a lot of rain and all of a sudden that place where they were playing filled up with water and the river came out quite a bit, really was flowing much more vigorously. This is a stream that feeds into the river at the end of West Street. That island almost disappeared when the water came to its high point. Hi. Hi there. Here Ben and Lil are having a, a soda with me. And this is a walk maybe just 20 minutes from uh, the dormitory. And you're out in the country in no time at all.
And there was even a uh, WC if I needed it. It was in use when I was there. That's Moon Mountain. Obviously a hole in the middle of the mountain. This garden is very close to the Buddhist area that I mentioned earlier. These were amazing machines. They were like a rototiller with a truck attached. <clears throat> I'd seen them in Nepal and in India years ago, and they're still in use. Big one-cylinder engine, totally exposed belts. I don't think I could import one very easily into the United States. And the traffic was a challenge. These aren't the worst traffic pictures that I could have taken, but crossing the street was definitely a challenge. You had to be alert. And it may say crosswalk, but that doesn't mean much of anything. There's a pecking order, and pedestrians are at the bottom. Then there's bicycles, motorcycles, cars, and the top of the heap are the big trucks with their 150 decibel horns. And you do want to get out of their way, whether they're going backwards or forward. Here Ryan and Liz and I are getting ready to go on a bike ride. And I have this shirt on which says, I'm a very cute guy. We all got a big kick out of that. Celiphon was laughing at me over it. And here Celiphon, Ryan, and I are having a pizza. It wasn't the greatest pizza I ever had, but the company was great. This is a supermarket, quite big. And this is the public market, which was much more interesting. And here there was lots of fresh stuff good produce, wonderful produce, uh, some produce I had never seen before. And so for some reason, the green beans there were the best I'd ever tasted. So oftentimes we'd go through and we'd buy a bunch of vegetables and meats and so on. And Ben and, and Ryan had an apartment and we'd go up there and Ben, who loved to cook, would prepare lunch. They were really good. And this is the lunch we had the last weekend I was there and all my friends were there. It was really fun. Uh, Ryan Salifan and I went up to Xingping one day. I took the bus up and uh, just walked around the town. It was It was a much smaller town. The streets were very narrow, just like uh, Yangqiao, but not much going on. This was a weekend, and yet hardly act any activity at all. Seven Horses Mountain or something, I don't remember. I never did see the horses. So we decided we would get a raft and go upstream. So Salafan, who had more of a uh, accent of this area negotiated and got us the best price and off we went and along the way there was this tourist area and some horses they obviously wanted to have us ride the horses we didn't but here's the Chinese cowboy he was quite a guy had an attitude these river boats go between Yangqiao and Guiling and there are just all hundreds of them that that seem to do this It was just spring when I was there, and so the deciduous trees were budding out. Look at the size of that bamboo by Ryan. Sullivan, Ryan, and I stopped and had a lunch. And these are just pictures from my walks around. Ah, yes, this is the weekend before I left, and we had a, a barbecue across the river. Ben ended up being the cook, and Joyce, who had become a good friend also, they both pooled the talents together, and we had a, a great lunch.
Ben and Sally Fawn. And here, Gwen and me. And here is a whole bunch mugging like crazy. The one in the blue shirt in front is the director of the school. <laughs> so then Ben and, and Sally Fawn and I went on a bike ride and coming in back home over this bridge. There was this big park that I'd walk through almost every day going to West Street. And it was just beautiful. There were some pea patches in there. And this street. And along the street were a lot of citrus. And the citrus must have been in bloom because it was a very lush smell as I'd walk through that. So my time in Yangshao was just great. I really enjoyed it and I particularly loved meeting all the wonderful people and spending time with them.